Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to have a bit of fun and make a Gone Boaten set out of a Ford Flare side pickup, a police launch and a boat trailer. The flare side pickup was released from 1982 to 1999. It's based on a Ford F-150. This red version with the flames and those racing kind of wheels was released from 94 until 1996. The police launch was released from 1977 right up until 1999. There were a few different colour schemes. This is the 1977 until 1980 version. And the trailer was from the original series number 9D. Came with a boat on it. I've never actually seen a boat for sale anywhere yet. Only ever the trailer, and this was produced from 1967 until 1971. Taking a closer look at our flare side pickup, it's in a pretty rough state. It's not the worst I've seen though, and all of the parts are there in good condition. Apart from the roll cage, it's looking a bit sad. The launch is again not in terrible condition, doesn't even have very chipped paint really, but one of the little men is missing off it. And the trailer is pretty decent, there's not much to it, it's just one piece, you usually find the back arms are broken off. I begin by drilling out the rivets and taking the truck and the boat apart. Oops. I use some poly stripper to strip the paint from the castings. Here you can see virtually all of the paint is gone. Now I don't want the horns and the light on the top of the boat, so I'm going to take these off. I start with a grinding stone on my rotary tool. And once I get them 
And once I get it started, I move on to a file. I usually find a file is ultimately the best way to go when working with the die cast. You'll be surprised how much material you can remove with one in a short amount of time. With the top of the boat ground down, I give it a quick clean up with a wire brush. I use some epoxy putty to fill the hole in the roof. This method is never going to give you a completely smooth surface, so I add some Tamiya putty in a thin layer. And once this is cured, I can file and sand it down to a nice smooth surface. I then painted the boat white and I'm going to give it a wooden deck. Moving on to the base of the boat, I remove the sticker. Some ISO is used to clean up the glue. I carefully drill out the plastic suspension system. I give the base a coat of primer and then it is painted white. I'm not going to be wanting the little policeman and he's also completely out of scale with the truck. So I chop him off and I can stash him away for a later project. I can now reassemble the boat parts and touch it up and give it some weathering. Moving on to the trailer, the first step is to take out the axle and wheels. I then use some paint stripper to remove the paint and I can give it a tidy up with my rotary tool.
I airbrush on a rusty texture over the trailer. I'm now going to apply some liquid mask where I'd like there to be the chipped paint. I paint it blue, it's pretty similar to the original blue that it was actually. Now I can use a stiff old brush to remove the paint where I've applied the liquid mask. I think that looks like a fairly realistically worn old trailer. I couldn't find any replacement wheels small enough to fit it, so I just used the original wheels. Now onto our Ford truck. I start by cleaning up the casting, removing any oxidation and remaining paint. I use my airbrush to paint it with a rusty texture. You can see how I achieved this in my Rat Rod Gasser video. I use liquid mask and some masking tape to mask off different areas of the truck. And I paint it a light blue colour. I know I did my last rusty car this blue colour, but looking online this did actually seem to be the most common colour for these old trucks. Unfortunately, the tape lifted the rust in a couple of areas, but that's okay, we can fix that up later. I mask off one of the front panels and paint it yellow.
I now move on to my paintbrush and tidy up the areas where the rust effect paint job had lifted and I can add some more heavily rusted areas here and there. Once I was happy with this, it was all given a coat of matte varnish. On to the base of the truck now. There's something that's been living in here. pop out the wheels it's really rusted in here I take it in for a wash and then I decide it's still too rusty underneath that suspension plate so I decide to pop it out and give it a good clean That's looking a lot better. I paint the base in dark steel. I detail the front and rear with light steel.
I finish it off with some black wash and some rust washes which I blend together a bit. I don't know what's going on with this roll bar on the interior. It's sort of wilted a bit, so I'm going to remove that. I didn't even actually notice that little broken pipe on the side there, but I do end up fixing it. Paint the interior with a light steel colour, then I detail the seats in brown. I also applied a black wash to the pipes and the grill. Note the pipe is repaired by this point. I'm going to be using these green light off-road wheels. I don't like that bright chrome on the rims so I paint them a dark steel. Next a dark wash and then a little bit of rust. The windscreen was fairly scuffed and rough so I gave it a sand and a polish. That's looking a lot better. So with all our parts tidied up and repainted, I just had to put it back together. So that was quite a bit of work, but before we take a look at our finished product, let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. Here is our worn old Ford F-150 flare side pickup truck. And here is our rusty customized version. I think it's looking much more like a genuine old beat up Ford pickup now. And here's our old police launch and trailer. With one of its policemen missing, the launch has seen better days. And the trailer was looking pretty lonely in my box of old cars.
And here are our finished customs. Our little launch has been retired from its job with the police and now it's ready to go boating. The trailer has been rusted and repainted. I've added some decals to the side of the boat and weathered it. I've tried to make it look like the mouldy old boat that's been left parked up in the yard and not had much care taken of it. And here they are, our complete set. A realistic, worn out looking, gone boating mission. This was a really fun project, took a couple of days with all the drying time etc. I really enjoy doing things like this, they're great fun. And for me the end products are very satisfying. As always, welcome to my new subscribers and a massive thanks to everyone for the awesome comments and likes on my videos. And a extra special thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters. If you'd like to help out the channel, you can check out my Patreon page. There'll be a link in the description below. So it's off down the lake for a photo shoot and then off for a boating mission. Maybe I can catch some trout. Thanks heaps for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.